I went to work for a couple of ranches when I was young, you know, a couple different ranches. They were really old ranches. Well, I knew you couldn't do that the rest of your life. <laughs> you know, I, the guys that own the ranch, I, yeah, I'm sure they like them, but boy, I didn't like any part of that, that irrigating and fencing and all that stuff. Just didn't suit me, you know. And I shouldn't have been that way, but I was. Spoiled, I guess you might call it or something. But anyway, so I just started looking for places where they were doing a lot more riding. And I went to work for a guy in Wyoming. His name was Ned Dover. Oh, well, he told me probably he'd worked forever wagon outfit in Wyoming at one time. And he'd put that together, you know, by cowboy, like some of them old guys did. But I remember we, he asked me one day, he says, well, all you really want to do is ride, ain't it? And I said, well, yeah. Well, why don't you go do that? And I said, well, I ain't sure there's any such a thing. He said, oh, yeah, you, you go find it. It's there. And I was working with him when he wanted me. Maybe he wanted me to leave. I, <laughs> I did a little excavating and I did a little house building. And that's exactly what brought me back was the lifestyle. You know, the, the being, being part of something that's bigger than you'll ever be. For me, you know, I, I really got to grow up with all the greats. You know, I really did. Like, my dad was one of the best bridal men I ever got to be. You know, Martin Murphy was, when somebody heard it was Martin Murphy bridal horse, they paid an extra thousand dollars, you know, and that was a big deal back in the 80s, you know. And then I grew up with Brett Vickerman, you know, still to me is one of the best cult starters I ever saw in my entire life, you know. And my brother-in-law, Cleve Anseth, is bar none the best roper I ever seen. I mean, I never seen anybody like him. And then there's guys that are all around good. And Lynn Babb was one of them. Lynn Babb really is, he's, he's one of them guys that, he's good cowboying, he's good roping, he's good helping you sort something out. And Lynn never short circled anybody. You know, he always, he always took the outside. Even, even at 80 years old, he's still taking that outside circle and riding, you know, horses that people that grew up in the arena wouldn't touch.